Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Skyblock Infinity Expert Mode. So last episode we got the very, very basics of a logistics uh, system up and running. We have a ender chest on orange, purple, lime. These are the colours, by the way, that I had chosen when it was still a multiplayer um, server. But uh, the colours don't matter so much anymore. Anyway, it's still orange, purple, lime, and orange, purple, red. This is our output chest. We'll probably try and hook this up to date. Depends on how far we get. But we have our supplier chest. So anything I put in here, it'll try and go to a valid destination. At the moment, the only valid destination we really have is this uh, chest for treated wood. But if I put some treated wood planks in there, as you can see, they will find their way into that chest again. Great. The very basics. So I'm just going to leave this here for now. This will be moved eventually. Uh, it's just that these things are... Uh, the soldering station is powered off the logistics system. Which is kind of a bit silly, but... Eh, what are you going to do? <laughs> Today, though, we're going to try and start moving some things across. Maybe some simple things like some uh, barrels of gravel, sand, cobble, that sort of thing. Um, that would be nice, I reckon. Resident Satchel, I don't think we have a dolly anymore. I think that's one of the things we lost to the great mysterious loss of tools of 2016. Uh, so the question is, how do we make a dolly? Dolly. It is right. That's why that's a problem. Because we need reinforced metal, which is a pain. Um... Reinforced hardener. We're going to need obsidian. Um, I need a way to create obsidian reliably. Which means I'm going to need a way to provide lava reliably. It's not really feasible at this point. Because we don't have the infrastructure. At least not anymore. Uh, to provide that. We did have infinite lava. We no longer have infinite lava. Uh, and now I'm kind of regretting having not set that up while we still had the old base in the situation that it was. Because I would really like to move, <laughs> move things and uh, my dolly is lost to the ages. So maybe today is an effort of creating some obsidian. All right. Expert mode, what do we need to create obsidian? We can do lava and water, lava and water. Blaze lamps on... Right, we haven't even started magic stuff, so can't even really think about that. Uh, breaking down things made of obsidian, and that's pretty much it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, what do we do? I think, to get started, we're going to have to kind of set up a thing that we took apart <laughs> in the move. Which means I'm going to need to find... where are they? Where did I put you? Because I wouldn't have thrown you away. Because I didn't throw away much at all. You'll be in a chest somewhere. Still haven't moved um, Skyblock over to uh, my rendering computer as a server yet. Still planning on doing that. So uh, here they are, crucibles. Uh, blazing Pyrothium, we will need you. So we are still... What, 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 what? Oh, I already had two cobble on me. Cobble, crucibles, blah, 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 blah. I will also need... Um, an aqueous, no, a igneous extruder. So why don't we do this? Igneous. So that... Whatever mess of sore and stuff. I cannot wait, guys, until... We have a proper storage system up and running because I hate 
sword and storage. And believe it or not, it's not so much the sword and storage that gets to me, it's the constant sound of searching through chests. An annoying creak. <laughs> Grinds at my ears. My poor, poor ears. Okay. Alright. Where did I put it? For real. I know things have gone missing and I'm prepared to accept that I might have thrown them out over the into the void accidentally, but... Where the heck did I put the Igneous Extruder? There is no way I would have thrown that out. <laughs> we do have one refined hardener. It does help. Mm. We have an acu aqueous accumulator. A nullifier. Uh, right, nullifier. Sorry, I actually had to... The, about the weird jump cut there, I actually had to get up and get the door. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um... So, I mean, I don't think I left anything over that way. We can have a look. No, I only see drawers. I don't know about you. I mean, that there is an igneous extruder. But I most certainly had another one which I was using for the original. Let's see what it takes to make an igneous extruder because I'm pretty sure they're fairly inexpensive except, uh, well, at this stage of our technology anyway. Igneous. It is a machine frame, pneumatic servo, two copper gears and a piston. Can we make copper gears? No, because we don't have a working smeltery right now. I mean, I could set up a working smeltery. Wait a minute, that's not the only way. We have press. A press, a press, a press. So, how is our press formed? <laughs> we are resurrecting a lot of stuff that I was hoping we wouldn't have to re resurrect. Uh, heavy machinery, metal press, piston, heavy block three scaffold and two conveyor we should have that around 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 what an interesting episode this will be <laughs> this is all part of it though this is all part of it especially when you suddenly change tack all of a sudden and want to build a fancy base rather than continuing the sprawling mess you had in the beginning. You lose track of things. All right, here's our heavy engineering block. Do I see a piston? Do not see a piston. It's conveyors. We need two of those. Need two steel scaffolding. Here's a heavy there. Aha! Okay. This chest has most of the stuff, I think. No, we are still missing a piston. Piston? Where are you? You'll be in one of these chests. Oh, come on now. I think I'll name this episode The Sound of Chests. Because that's pretty much all it is right now. There we go. Here's a piston. Oh, all the stuff for making the presses in this uh, chest. Okay. That's fine. So, we'll just set you up here for now. And can't remember which way those face. That is the way I want it though. Piston. Cobble. 
Cover oder? No. <laughs> no. I know I can use a wrench for this, and I will have to use a wrench for this. Wrench. Oh, come on now. I don't have a wrench. What is going on? I can only imagine that I played this game in my sleep at some point and totally reorganized everything because I see no reason why my tool bag should not have a wrench. For real. <laughs> Am I just blind? I'm fairly sure I'm not that blind. Ranch. Oh boy, I'll be back. Seriously though. Right. Finally free of the madness. Hopefully. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Don't want to jinx out. There's going to be a missing hammer, isn't there? Hmm. <laughs> I'll be back. All right. Making a new hammer. And you'll notice something. The hammer is made out of sticks, not treated sticks. So I'm starting to think maybe a bunch of the missing tools are missing because during the move from server to computer, uh, I don't have all of the necessary scripts and so on for, uh, for expert. So maybe we're not playing expert right now. Um, We'll keep going for this episode, how we're going, but um, I'll look into that between episodes because the thing that I don't want to happen is I don't want uh, to have to um, not be playing on expert. I want to be playing on expert. Right, so we need to power you. That will do, and that will do. I think. Yeah, because we've got medium voltage over there. It'll be ugly, but it'll work. MV wire. To here. Or here. Or here. Why not? So, something happened. I think I busted. Yep. Yeah. You broken, thank you. <laughs> It like cancelled the original one and now. So you to there, you to there, you to there. Now, you to there. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. Mm. You medium voltage, you are. I don't think you're hooked up. You are hooked up, okay. That's fine then, that'll work. So now you should have power, you do. Uh, and we should be able to finally make uh, some copper, some copper gears. Now, that's another problem that we have. If we are going to make copper gear, hey. <laughs> Face this way, no? But didn't you like face the wrong way when I never mind. Um Hopper. If in fact the scripts are broken. I'm not entirely sure how we make a copper gear. You four bronze ingots. I think that's the same. Maybe it was five. But we'll need four copper ingots. One, two, three, four. 
no that wasn't out of sync I just started counting before I actually clicked on it right okay that works <laughs> we have copy gears we're on our way to an igneous extruder oh my god that makes me so sad copy gears okay okay Brilliant. So, uh, Igneous, you are a machine frame. This recipe is the same as always. I mean, you still have the correct recipe, so why doesn't other things have the correct recipe? I don't know. Pneumatic servo, two iron, one redstone, two glass. That is the same as it always been. It was always that way in expert mode as well. And two glass. Do I have glass lying around? The answer is maybe. And I'm sure I cooked some up last episode too. Did I? I have quite clear glass. I have some sand. Furnace mode. Make normal glass. I need normal glass. I'm not going to go searching through chests. There's probably a chest with some glass in it, but <laughs> this way I know I'm getting glass and don't have to listen to the cacophony of chests opening over and over again. Right. Headstone, iron, glass. Medic server. And Herobrine was here. Ha ha, very funny. Um, Herobrine is not here, by the way. That is just an April Fool's joke that has gone way past April. Uh, and a piston. A keystone. My inventory is so full. Um, you... I'm sure there's some stuff we can put away in here. You come out, you're not a tool. Glasses. Okay, that's enough for now. Um, piston. I can't actually remember. I know what the recipe was. I was just making sure that it wasn't a expert mode change. And I knew it wasn't sort of. I wasn't confident. That's what I'm trying to say. I wasn't confident it was the vanilla recipe. Iron, redstone. Great. And now we can make an igneous extruder. Hooray! Most of the way there. So we have our blazing pythorium, our igneous extruder, and our crucibles. Uh, we need a bucket of lava and a bucket of water. We also need some cables. Wait, wait, yes, no, no, I'm still, I'm still onto it, don't worry. We need you. We need... I'm looking for... Uh... Can't even remember what they're called to start searching for them. There, transfer notes, right. Um, you can go in there. You can also go in there. So these will let us get the cobble out of the igneous extruder over to the crucibles and out of the crucible, the lava out of the crucible, right. So, liquid transfer nodes. Into. So we will need an aqueous accumulator. There. And to make obsidian, we will need another igneous extruder. Dang it. <laughs> okay. Okay. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll be back. Second Igneous Extruder. Right. Okay, 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 okay. Kaoken. Um, yes, that was a DBZ reference. I just need... Fortunately, none of this needs power, which is brilliant. I need a balloon, because this is going to be the most temporary structure I have set up ever. Balloon, balloon, balloon. Where are you, baboon? Now I know, categorically, it's because it's in my inventory. <sighs> right. And you can just go up here because I don't care. <laughs> it just needs to be up and out of the way. Okay, so if that's blazing pyrothium, we need that and that. This is where it will sit. Okay, let's turn hover back on. Take our balloon. And our cobble. Yes, I'm mining up the extra cobble because I might need it and I don't want to have to go back down to pull a stack out of the uh, out of the barrel. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, blazing pyrothium is immune. Ooh. Or rather, cobble is immune to blazing pyrothium. Something we should do, though. That will just light on fire again, so I'm not sure why I'm doing that. Um, crucible. Yeah, see? There it goes. What I need to do is put slabs down on top of those, but not really. Um, not permanently, anyway. So let's make some slabs. That is not slabs. That is though. And this will stop fire starting. And don't worry about it blocking the side. We'll we'll take the uh, slabs off when we need to attach um, the liquid nodes to them. So, transfer pipes on top. Igneous extruder on the end. No. Igneous extruder off the end. I think. Maybe I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> I can't remember the difference between the uh, multi-part functionality of um, transfer pipes. Yeah, see? Between 1.10 and 1.7. I know my rambling doesn't really communicate what I was thinking at the time, but th there you go, that was what I was thinking. Okay, so that solves that which will get this started and full of water since this is my only pool of water right now I think I took the wrong one I did take the wrong one give me the middle one please water yeah you are set to cobble good and lava is hanging out somewhere there it is. Lava. So this gets us lava production. And I think I have an upgrade for the igneous extruder as well. Although, 
I don't think it will take the upgrade because it is uh, not an upgraded Igneous Extruder, which makes me grumpy because what happened to my upgraded Igneous Extruder, nobody knows. And then we'll break these, which they'll probably light on fire any second now. And we will put liquid transfer nodes on the side. And that should start pulling out lava. Good. Almost there. Um, I do want to put stuff under anything that I plan on taking apart later, just in case it falls over the side and I want to keep things, so that's fine. Igneous Extruder, here, set it to Obsidian, set the side to Input, wait, clear them all and then set the side to, that side to Input. And you can be input as well, at which point we want a pool of water around our friend the aqueous accumulator, or rather all four sides covered. I think it's only two that you need, but it's been such a long time that I'm not really sure to be honest guys. One seven is kind of like this alien system to me now. I've spent so much time on 1.10 and 1.8 and stuff. I'd, I'd moved on a little while ago, um, so that coming back to 1.7 is really strange um, about what I do and don't know anymore, what is or isn't the same anymore. Aqueous accumulator, liquid transfer node, transfer. So that's going to produce a little bit of water but not enough. Right, we need to put a slab on that spot and that spot. Good. Now we won't have any random fires starting. Let's go get some water. Or rather, I'll be back once the water is in the appropriate spots. Alright, last water source block. Full of water. We are producing obsidian. Lava is being produced. Good stuff. And we do not need an upgraded igneous extruder because those look like they are full of cobble whenever possible. Are you? Yeah. See, that's that's back stuffing. So the only thing that really needs to be sped up is the obsidian igneous extruder. But by the same token, are we ever really going to need that much obsidian? We might do in the future. I don't know. But for right now, I don't think I'm going to bother with thinking about upgrading. Unfortunately, guys, <laughs> all this faffing about has meant that we're completely off course with what we're meant to be doing. We're on our way to producing obsidian, which will allow us to produce... Uh, what was it? <laughs> to produce a reinforced wheel set for our dolly so that we can start moving things over here. But, better late than never, we now have infinite obsidian. So, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.